What's up, everybody? My name is White Dragons, and welcome back to Better Than Wolves. So, uh, I've been a little busy, if you haven't noticed. Um, I actually moved underground, we got things more organized, and most importantly, I found a lot of iron. As you can see, this was where we were staying, and uh, I kind of felt like it wasn't necessary anymore. Also, uh, I found this great little cave area that I've uh, encompassed. A compass is that an actual word um, now if you recall better than wolves in the beginning episodes I don't think I mentioned this but like um, well that's the best way to say this uh, if you place a block down on the ground you put it's considered a road so cobblestone is considered a road cobblestone half slabs are considered roads gravel is considered a road and what this does is it makes you walk uh, like normal Minecraft However, when you walk on dirt, see how slow we've gotten? And now we walk into tall grass, we're even slower. But these were pre-made roads here, so we're going to walk normally. But if we get in the dirt, we slow down. Get in grass, we slow down even more. And we use up more energy. So keep that in mind, okay? Alright, so let's talk about what I've been doing. Well, uh, I've been a little busy. Uh, this is my next... Um, next area to explore however uh, I want to go over a couple of things with you uh, so um, when you spawn and I need to get this village seed down so you guys can um, you guys can see it. actually I tell you what uh, let's try this save single recreate and more options there we go there's a seed number let me write that down too so I can put it on the description. Seed one one six one two eight one three four two. Okay. All right. So we're gonna cancel that. We'll go back into this and we'll play. Okay. So uh, with the seed, uh, hopefully, if it comes out right, um, you'll spawn with these two villages uh, where we were originally. Got myself backed up here. Gotta wait for everything to load up. Kind of weird when you first load the, the worlds. My chunks don't load as fast, like in like well, there we go, uh, like in the newer versions. So uh, and I've got I've got a little food to spare, so I can do this. Um, so you should see two villages, and we spawned right in there, over there in that area where my crosshairs are at. So if you walk to this village to your right, okay, if you took a little stroll. And as soon as you see the blacksmith area, and this should work, there will be a hole right here. Okay? So from the corner of the blacksmith shop to right here, there should be a kind of like crevice hole. And I'll explain why I have that there in a minute. Um, and what you're going to find is a zombie spawner. Yeah, a zombie spawner. With a... With a um, what, the, what do you call that thing? A uh, a chest, and I haven't I haven't gone in it, so it's kind of like I've been waiting to do this recording, and uh, I I really want to go see what's inside so bad, but I've been waiting so long. So these are my backups, just in case. Um, always keep a couple backups, and and better than wolves, you never know what's gonna happen. So. Uh, in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to show um, making, uh, well, I'll show you. Uh, out, of this, out of this area, going that way and that way, I got uh, 38 uh, ore, which turned into iron ingots. So when you smell down iron, you're going to get ingot, or nuggets, I'm sorry. You're going to get nuggets, and then it takes nine nuggets to make one ingot. So, okay. So let's pop this bad boy open and see what we get. Oh, this is freaking exciting to me. And then I'll go over everything else. I just, I just, ugh. okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ancient manuscript. What the hell is that? Ooh, a saddle. Wheat. Cocoa powder. A piece of bread and string. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this. Now you may come up with something better. Um, currently there, I don't have anything better, so this is what I'm using to, uh, get the job done. So, yeah. This is my fishing bait, basically. Ugh! No! Okay. 
Well, we can do this. We can do this. Oh, wait. No, I can't. I gotta do this. Get up there. Get up there. Okay. And there. All right. Perfect. Let's put this back. All right. And we can close that up. Whew. Okay. So, um, basically what happens is, is the zombies will spawn when you break the torch where I have the torch at, of course. And they're going to come towards me. Now, I have these trap doors here, not just for decorations, but they actually give us an inch off so that if a zombie drops, I don't get hit. Or if I want to stay, if, like, say, I, I normally keep them up like this and hit them, and then just, like, drop them all down and get what I need. This thing will infinitely run, unlike the other versions where, um, I think it's, I think this one doesn't have, this version doesn't have the limit already on it yet. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and then, of course, I've got my backup tools sitting here, and I've got my, this is what I've just randomly been doing. Like, there were some bats, I killed some bats, so, you know, so cool. Um, you have to bait a fishing pole in order to catch fish, and, uh, we're gonna do that here shortly, so, uh, let's get the ingots, and, uh, as you can see, I've labeled all of our chests. So we're good to go there. So we got food here. We'll put the food in here. Uh, do I have a spot for plants? There's an other stuff. It must be other stuff. Yeah, okay. Other stuff. So we'll put the satellite in here, and I'll explain where this stuff is at here shortly. Uh, for now, we'll put that there. Cocoa powder. I'm not exactly sure how that works, so we'll have to find out. And I think I have some chest and the gravel goes right here. Is that right? I guess so. I've been using gravel, as you can see, to make the roads and stuff. Anyways, so uh, iron ingots. Okay, so our iron to make iron ingots, you need to make a nine nuggets. So it would be the equivalent of using the ingots to make a box. We got four ingots out of that and we have two uh, nuggets left which is actually a good thing uh, and we're gonna just basically knock out a whole bunch of stuff simultaneously here tool wise so we're gonna get some of that we're gonna need that and we're gonna go into our crafting bench okay so the first thing I am going to build obviously ooh, I just thought about that I can't make a hoe damn I needed, I needed five. Crap. Decision making. Huh. I need to start growing food, so we will most likely be making a hoe. We need the hoe, and uh, we'll put these to the side. And uh, damn, you know what I forgot to get? Where's the other stuff at? And lady's just walking around. Every freaking time I record something, this dog has got to walk around uh, now to make the fishing pole okay it's quite different uh, I think the regular minecraft fishing pole I can't remember uh, how he, how it's I think it's like this and then you gotta have yeah no it's like this yeah it's like this but uh, what you have to do is because wild child, flower child, sorry, not wild child, that's another motor. Uh, flower child actually made you use your nuggets, put one in, and you get a fishing rod. Yay! Now the fishing rod. Grab some. Oop. Grab some. Uh, can I make it close enough? Got a piece here so I can show you guys real quick. Uh, this is the only way to fish in better than wolves. Okay. And this iron took me uh, between breaking pickaxes and re redoing them. I think I went through 50 pickaxes because I was just randomly going everywhere trying to find iron in these two spots. And then just digging in a corner. So, yeah, 50 pickaxes in four days of mining. So, this, ain't, this isn't something regular. Alright, so, anyways, if you hit E, of course, you get your little crafting box here. Now, you can do this manually, like when you're fishing, and you have baited fish pole. You must bait it every time. Shut up, zombie. You have to bait it every time, okay? So, keep that in mind. I did go out and find some uh, stuff to kill. Damn, that sounded, like, really close. I haven't gotten behind the 
the mo the uh, zombie spawner, so there could be a possibly be zombies spawning somewhere on that other side of that wall. But with that being said, um, remember you can't use a bucket to uh, to um. Uh, I think the dog wants out. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> Hopefully you got some lovely entertainment out of the sound of music. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, water. Yes, I was about to talk about water. Okay, so you can't move water in better than wolves, okay? So, when you come down this hole here, you'll find a source block of water moving, okay? So, uh, this is the original source block right here, I think. So... We're going to use that for the time being. And we need to get pumpkins growing. Now, uh, I'll cut... I'll probably cut this right somewhere like right in here. And show you the location of the pumpkins. I'll just give you the location of the pumpkins. You ain't got to go if, if they're there. Okay, so like uh, I wrote this down. So the location of the pumpkins is at, if you hit the F3 button here. Ow. Oh, sorry, that was my jacket. Uh, if you hit the F3 button, you, the core, the in your C, E, and P is actually at 65 or 654 uh, over 10816. Okay, so we're at 10816 now. And you see if I jump, see the C changes. Okay, and then E should be sitting at 8 over 87. Okay. And then last P should be zero, okay? Or if you hit uh, slash LOC and hit enter, you'll be given your coordinates, which is four, or like mine's like 453.225, but the coordinates for that location where the pumpkins are at is negative 133.63, negative 100. So there you go. That should help you out a little bit. And I did die a couple of times, and then I did find my way back. So I did have multiple shelters everywhere. That's kind of what took the four days. It took me four days to get back to this location. Uh, luckily, I had like stacked a lot of different uh, towers really high uh, when I was out searching for pumpkins. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, water can't be moved, and uh, we found a jungle, which was to the far right. Son of a bitch, where are you? Um, so... Yes, let me take this real, real quick. These are not growing. This one's not growing at all. I don't like that. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, you can eat pumpkins, or you can eat cocoa beans. It only gives you that much, though, so keep that in mind. But water is a, it can, can hydrate a block of three. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to maximize our water intake by uh I need to remove this don't I let's remove this okay got an idea here hold on this should work he, yeah there must be a hole on the other side over here which is total bullshit <sighs> uh didn't I have a pickaxe yeah there it is right there duh um let me go ahead and break this yeah, there's got to be a hole either below us or on the other side of that wall. I'll go and investigate it off camera and find it and break it or fill it up with torches. Because uh, I've, I've burned through like a lot of torches. Um, let me make that cl also clear is you burn through a lot of torches. So uh, be prepared for that. I'll go ahead and just do it like that. It's a little bit better. Yeah, okay. And I got dirt. Right, yeah. 
Ugh, you can hear him breathing and everything. So nasty. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, it's raining. Is it? Is it raining? Yep, it's raining. Now, this is the reason why that hole's there before I go any further. See, I can see daylight and I can see nighttime, so maybe it's because the zombies are out and about because it's nighttime instead of there's a hole. Um, I did hear a couple of animals die, which kind of sucked, but yeah, it's definitely raining. Alright, so. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, so this won't hydrate, but this one and that one will. See the different colors? This one's like max hydration, and this one is on its way to being hydrated. So I'm actually going to pull this tool up because this is actually a very expensive tool now. Um, yeah, very expensive tool. And we need to grab the pumpkin, at least. I think we're going to get three. I think we get three out of this. No, we get four, even better. Um, now, if I remember, one, two three okay and then boom and then uh, I think we'll sacrifice this is there any way to take the wheat and change it into seed no damn that's something he should do if you ever find like wheat you should be able to make wheat seeds that would be kind of cool uh, we need to put that somewhere safe we don't accidentally try to use it put it right there for now um, it rains a lot too Something else I've noted. Noticed, I should say. Put this stuff up. 